The bass has two parts and you're going to hit each note four times. So it's going to sound the same and matching at the same time as the chords. You're going to hit E four times, A four times, F four times, G. So it's a bit in a pattern. E, A, F, G. It sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That goes over and over for all of part one. Part two for the bass. When the melody changes and the chord changes, we're going to play again along with the chords. So we're going to be hitting each note two times. We're going to be jumping around a lot. So if you want to write down each of the order of the notes and then have a look, have it in front of you, that could be an easy way. We're going to go C, C, G, G, D, D, A, A, F, F, D, D, G, G, C, C. Not really a pattern to that. You've just got to play it over and over to get it sounding right. This is how it sounds. Then we start again by hitting C twice. Forgot the note there myself. So the chords for part one sounds like this. We're going to start with B and E, and we're going to hit each note four times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The notes are B and E, C and E, C and F. D and G, and you're going to do that over and over. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this is the second bottom part or the chords part. I'm going to play it for you, and then I'm going to tell you each of the notes because it could be helpful for you to write them down to have it in front of you to learn them because there's a lot of jumping around. So we hit each note two times. C, E, B, D, D, F, C, E, F, A, D, F, B, D, C, E. Now it's important, the second time you play it, you need to start from C, E again. This is how it's gonna sound when you play it twice together. C, E, B, D, D, F, C, E, F, A, D, F, B, D, C, E. Again, C, E. B, D, D, F, C, E, F, A, D, F, B, D, C, E. The melody has two parts. This is how the first part sounds, and then I'll break it down for you. To break that down, we're going to hit B four times and go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A, B, C, B, A, A. That's the first little section. So you're going to practice that over and over until it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. This next section gets a bit tricky because you're going to be hitting these two notes a lot. The next little section sounds like this. A, G, A, A. Then you're going to swap and start with G this time. G, A, G, B, B, B. I'll do that again. A first. A, G, A, A. G, A, G, G, B, B. Then it ends with C, B, G. The second time, the only bit is different. The first, the first section is the same. One, two, three, four. This is where it starts to change. A, G, A, A. G, A, G, B, B, B. The second part of the melody sounds like this. Break that apart. There's two different sections, but each time they're a little bit different. 
So we're going to go E, 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 D, E, E, D. Break that up again. E, E, D, D, E, F, G, F, E. Then we're going to go to A, 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 G, F, F, E, D, G, E, A, A, G, F, F, E, D, G, E. We're going to go back to the first part again, but it's going to sound a little bit different. We're going to go bum, ba, dum, bum. E, C, E, D. Go back to the A. A, A, G, F, F, E, D. We're going to go G, C. So it's different from the first one. 